Hello again, this is Mr. Hurley, and we're going to be talking in this video about limits. You can see here I've got just some random function f drawn, and you can see the blue point that I've highlighted, in other words, when x is 5, the output of the function is 2. You can see here that as x approaches 5 from the left, the value of f of x approaches 2. Therefore, we can say that the limit as x approaches 5 from the left of f of x is 2. As we approach x equals 5 from the right, the value of f of x also approaches 2. Therefore, we can say the limit as x approaches 5 from the right of f of x is equal to 2. Thus, the limit as x approaches 5 of f of x is equal to 2, since the left-hand limit and the right-hand limits are equal. So that's a basic example that illustrates an informal explanation of what a limit is. But what if the functional output is something other than 2? In other words, maybe we have a hole or some sort of break in the graph. So here's another example. In this situation, there's, an, there's a hole in the graph at the point negative 2, 3. And so we want to know what the limit is as x approaches negative 2 from the left and from the right. So again, even though the function g is not defined at negative 2, limits are all about closeness. So again, as we move along the x-axis here and approach negative 2 from the left, you can see that the output of the function is approaching 3 even though it doesn't actually hit it. And so because if we were to take pieces that are in infinitely small close to that hole, it's going to go closer and closer to 3. So even though the functional output isn't 3, the limit is equal to 3. It gets very, very, very close to 3. And that's the whole idea behind limits is what does the value get close to. Now as you approach it from the right side you can see the same thing happening again as we go along the graph of G it's getting closer and closer to 3 doesn't actually pick up 3 but it gets so infinitely close to it the limit as X approaches negative 2 from the right of G of X is equal to 3. Alright and just to finish this off our one-sided limits are equal, the right-hand limit is equal to the left-hand limit, and so the two-sided limit, the limit as x approaches negative 2 of g of x is equal to 3.